Bali, an amazing island where they believe as much in good as in bad spirits. Today I will take you along during the Hindu festival known as Ogu Ogu. This festival takes place a day before Balinese New Year, Nyepi. The festival is meant to entertain the bad spirits so much that they will leave the people alone after. Because of the contrast of loud entertainment during Ogu Ogu and Nyepi, which they celebrate in extreme silence, the bad spirits won't disturb them during that holiday. So simply, they celebrate Ogu Ogu to scare the bad spirits away and then trick them the next day on Yepi that there are no people on the island to disturb or visit. A lot needs to be done to succeed in that. That's why this huge event takes weeks, maybe even months, to prepare. During those months, they make enormous and creative demons and monsters, which symbolize the bad spirits. They create them in all sorts of sizes, shapes, and colors. Some even have more than one arm or face. Everyone is extremely excited about this celebration. Not only because Balinese people are very dedicated to their traditions and rituals, but also because each neighborhood will compete with each other. In the night, they will be performing with the Ogu Ogu, from the small ones held by little children to the biggest ones that are carried by a large group of people. During this performance, they lift and shake the demon and then spin it around counterclockwise three times before storming off while shouting out loud. The most crazy, scary and incredible Ogu Ogu wins. Despite their amazing craftsmanship, if the Ogu Ogu isn't kept for display, it gets burnt. This is because they believe that the bad spirits inhabit them during the festival.